Well, hi everyone. I'm back with a short video. Uh, I'm tired. It's been a long day. I haven't had dinner yet, but I really wanted to open this this card deck. This arrived uh, day before yesterday, and I've been trying to find the time and the energy to do it, but I just have had too many appointments for my physical therapy for my back, and my cleaning lady finally came back after almost a year of, of both of us staying away from each other because of COVID. So today was like major house cleaning day, and I've already harvested some asparagus for dinner to go with my meatloaf that I just defrosted from the freezer. So. I'm tired, but I'm going to do this video and it'll be a quick one for a change. So this is the Luna Tarot. I never had the first one, but I, I ordered this in February and it just arrived two days ago. There was a little delay and, you know, whatever, but I got it. And I wasn't going to buy any more decks for a while. You know, this was in February. But when I saw this deck and the beautiful soft muted colors, I thought, I don't have any deck that has those soft muted colors. And it looked wonderful. So anyway, I've got my little knife ready here. And uh, we are going to open this little baby up and see what we have here. I'm sure there'll be a lot of videos on this because my friend Simon just did a video yesterday. But I purposely didn't watch his video because I wanted to see my own reaction to the deck. So let's see what we have here. Okay. So this is a newbie for me. Okay, here we go. This is the box. Interesting, it's a very different box. Look, look at how, oh, I think it has to open this way. Oh my goodness. Wow, now that is different. Look, do you see how that opens? It's like a mag magnet. Oh, that's a great box. Okay. And then we have a box within a box. Wow. Another beautiful box. Okay, what does it say about this? It says, the Luna Soul Tarot. Darren and, was it Shill and Mike Med, Med, Medaglia, Med, Medaglia? Founder of Luminal 2. Wow. But what a nice box. And in the inside of the box, you have a lovely little aphorism quote. It says, it's a poor sort of memory that only works backwards by Lewis Carroll. <laughs> there you go. And this is the side of the box here. Let's see if I can get it in here. I've got a whole different camera arrangement here. I still have to figure out how to use a cell phone, but right now I'm still doing this because I just wanted to get this out. So there we go. Wow. Luna Soul Terra. Okay, so now we have another box here. And again, beautiful artwork. Oh my goodness, let's turn it around here so you can see all sides of this. Here we go. Wow. And there's the bottom of it. There's the very bottom. Let's see, can you see it? I'm having a hard time trying to videotape this and see what I'm videotaping. Okay, so let's look what's in here. My goodness. Okay, so then there's a piece of paper in here. I guess it's a stabilizer. And, oh, there looks like there's a lovely little, little book here. Let's find out. There's a book. Wow, isn't that pretty? You see what I mean by these soft colors. So let's see what it's got in here. Oh, and there's the back of it. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to hold it this way and hope that you can see what I'm seeing at least. There's a little forward to it. On Major Arcana. This is obviously a very well done deck. And look at the color pictures. There's the fool. They love because says, you call me a fool, so it must be true. But if I am a fool, then I know one thing more than you. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Okay, and then there's a the whole thing back here on how to read the cards. Yeah, and they have they don't have pictures of the the wand cards, but they have just pictures of the of the wands themselves. But they do have the pictures of the major arcana, and there are some. There's the Luna Soul spread. So it's a seven card spread about the inner self, the outer self, physical health, 
hidden hopes, wholeness, wisdom, and guidance. So there you have it. Seven card spread. Let's see, are there any other spreads in here or just that one spread? Okay. Oh, no, there are other spreads. There's a relationship spread. There's the Celtic cross, which I still don't have the courage to use. <laughs> okay. And then there's the four card spread. So, oh, so well done. Okay, so let's take a look at these cards. Okay, I'm going to undo this thing here. So I found out from Lisa Pappas that if you move some of the cards, then that little thing comes right out so easily. So that's what we're doing here. So let's see what we have here. We will start with the Fool. Oh, I'm going to love this deck. Oh, by the way, look at the backs of the cards. Isn't that pretty? And oh, the finish on these is lovely. No shiny plastic finish, just a smooth, buttery. Oh. I will be using this deck a lot. Okay, Magician. So I'll just go through them fairly quickly and not talk too much. Just allow you time to just really look at them. Okay. Let me make sure they're in a place where you can see them better. Okay. Yeah, this is a hard time for me to try to get this done because I'm in a very awkward situation here trying to see these cards. So, okay, I think that works. Oh, wow. There's such a beautiful, soft lovely quality about these cards and it's not just the coloring and again it's an all-inclusive deck which I love oh wow I think my daughter is going to love this deck she will be getting all my decks one of these days. <laughs> oh, it's a very nice hermit. Very different hermit, but very nice. Very pretty temperance card. Hmm. Very good tower card. You wouldn't even have to know Tarot to know what that card means. Ace of Wands. Hmm. I like how they did the Three of Wands. It's very unique, very lovely. <laughs> the Four of Wands. <laughs> They're building a teepee, I think. Teepee type house. Uh oh, the Five of Wands. <laughs> Well, yeah, if anybody 
is using right away, they would have no trouble using this deck. <laughs> A little battered, but still, still ready for the fight. Ten of Wands. Oh, I hope you are enjoying this deck as much as I am enjoying showing it to you. <laughs> I love that they use the, the uh, lion for the instead of a horse for the knight. Colors in the cups. Aren't isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. Such it just reminds me of the beautiful colors of the ocean in the Caribbean. Wow, we got the two of cups. Mm. Mm -mm. Uh-oh. Yeah, the three and the four got upside down. Excuse me, I got to put these back. We got the three of cups, then the four of cups. For a minute there, I thought maybe I was missing a card. Okay. <laughs> the seven of cups. Decisions, decisions, decisions. <laughs> Oh, wow. Eight of Cups. This is going to be my after-dinner dessert, is sitting and just going through these very slowly for myself. And getting this deck consecrated and and trying one of the uh, spreads. Queen of Cups. That's why they did the Queen thing. Now we have the Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Oh, very interesting Six of Swords. Wow. <laughs> I love the expressions on the faces in, in this deck. Wow. I love how they made a ladder as the way out. <laughs> oh, it's very, very special deck. Wow. Colors remind me of sorbet. <laughs> you know, it's just so beautiful. Oh, look at the Queen of Swords with the owl. Isn't that wonderful? And the Ace of Discs. So we've got pentacles. They call it discs, but, but again, it's uh, two of discs. Hmm. Oh my, I just love, love the inclusivity of this deck. I love the colors of it. I love the finish. The cards are very good quality. The backs are beautiful. The packaging is sublime. I mean, it is just an exquisite, exquisite deck. Wow.
Hmm. There's the Craftsman at work, the Eight of Discs. And the Nine of Discs. Hmm, interesting. It doesn't have the, the bird on the shoulder or anything, but it's got the flowers. And the Ten of Discs is so pretty. Pretty much says it all, doesn't it? About all the abundance there. We have the page. <laughs> the knight is on, I don't know, is that a Brahma bull or is that an ox? I'm not sure. But King of Discs. Wow. There's much to look at in these cards, to take the time to really look at it all. And then we have the Queen of Discs. And then there are two extra cards. I'm not sure what that says. But that one. And then we have a duality card here. Duality. Wonderful. Well, I hope I did the deck justice and hope I got a better photograph on it than I've been getting. I still have to figure out how to <laughs> do this with my cell phone so that, because I have one of these uh, arm things. You know, see this arm? <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. This is an arm. <laughs> Look at it. It just goes to that. Anyway, I, can't, I could not put my phone on, uh, my uh, camera on there, so I, I'm going to have to learn how to use that with the phone. So anyway, uh, let's see how they shuffle. Oh, no problem shuffling. They're not running away like, like the plastic sometimes just, just slides all over the place. These are not doing that. This is great. So let's see. We can ripple shuffle. Probably not as well. No, they, you can ripple shuffle them, but they're not going as easily. So anyway, that's my look of these cards, and I'm just gushing all over because I think it's just a beautiful, beautiful deck. So while I'm at it, I'm just going to quickly do a pull of my uh, cards here, of my Ascension cards. So you'll have to trust me that I'm not looking. <laughs> okay, Spirit. Okay, Lord Michael. And my guys, please give a card for everyone, including myself, that we can think about today and tomorrow. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it has my prayer that I do every day. Let me go I'll show you. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. On this day, walk with an open mind, an open heart, and open arms. Be open and available to all that comes upon you. So that's it for today. So thank you, everybody, for stopping by. I hope that I did justice to this deck. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, a wonderful week, a wonderful year, a wonderful life. I love you all so much. Thank you for coming by and putting up with this old lady who is just trying to make contact with the world in, in a small way through these wonderful cards. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. And thank the whole Tarot community for all it has given to me, friendships and lots of wonderful, entertaining videos and lots of hints and, and help on how to do everything. It's a remarkable group of people. Thank you, everybody. Namaste, all. Good night.